Welcome to Lunch and Learn. My name is Bill Golis with Coda Bears. Today we're going to be talking about the master production scheduling process in Epicor. So the first question is, what is a master production schedule? Well, a master production schedule is a top level part production plan to create demand in advance of orders. So what we're saying is based on our forecasts, expected sales orders, the inventory needs, discussions with you know clients, history, the whole nine yards, we're going to say, hey, this is what we believe that we want to produce at a top level of you know this part and that part. And what this a master production schedule will do is when the MRP is run, it will create job and purchase suggestions, uh, which is what MRP does based on a master production schedule. In addition to uh, you know to your, to your active sales orders and other demand as MRP does. That said, you need to have the MRP the module licensed to use the master production schedule because that's what the MPS is driving. And one of the great things about the master production schedule, this allows you to do advanced planning so you can smooth your production per se to meet long-term demand. So when we see that we, you know we anticipate we're going to have you know bottlenecks and we may have a machine and resource time open on either side of those bottlenecks, and we can spread that production out with the master production schedule. Of course, that's going to be at the cost of having materials early, having inventory, you know, potentially you know, to beat those bottlenecks. So and some of the highlights of master production scheduling, the process identifies when specific part quantities will be manufactured and purchased via MRP. You can create your master production schedule manually by part, or you can import from a forecast. More on that to come. The master production schedule allows you to do the quick updates for part needs and you know, slash demand. So if you decide, you know, if you run your MRP on a nightly basis and you do a full regen on a weekly basis, you can, you know, do an update to your master production schedule and say, hey, I'm going to be looking for some job suggestions next week. We had some change in demand or we, you know, have an anticipated change in demand. I want to run these parts now. Those job suggestions will be created the next time that MRP runs from your master production schedule. Uh, and if you have a forecast the master, for the same part, the master production schedule will override that. So the MPS, hence the master production schedule. You can view your entire master production schedule from the MPS report that's located at Production Material Requirements Planning Reports Master Production Schedule. I will show that in my demo. Uh, configurable parts cannot be used on a master production schedule. You can see why, because without having the configuration to create, the, you know, the system does not know what exactly to make. And master production schedules are often created from forecast. Forecasting, we did a, a lunch and learn on that maybe six or eight weeks ago. So that's out there if you want to learn more about forecasting. And forecasting is similar to a master production schedule, but you can assign your forecast demand to specific customers, whereas a master production schedule is just saying, hey, I want to make 10,000 widgets and not identify who they're for, even though you're going to know, you know, you'll likely know much of that from how you're planning. And that may be in a forecast. So and that said, to import your master production schedule from the MPS entry program, you're going to select the part and there is a action to copy from forecast. Now, that's by doing it part by part. And it's kind of an outage that Epicor doesn't have a complete run where you can say, hey, I want my whole forecast to be imported as a master production schedule. Uh, that does not exist to my knowledge. You can, in fact, use the DMT tool and mass load forecasts into a master production schedule. So if you have thousands of parts in your forecast and you want to do them all at once, that requires the DMT, unfortunately, uh, but it is easy to do with the DMT. I'm pretty sure that is a request for a for enhancement, as they say, where you know, people I would like to see that tool be a base tool where you can import your entire forecast. Because you can export your forecast, you can import it back, and you can work with that in Excel and external applications, and then you can import back into the forecast. You just can't convert your whole forecast into a master production schedule. So now let's take a look at how this actually works in Epicor 2023-2. So for your master production scheduling, you're going to be working from a material requirements planning, which is under production management, 
and we're going to look at general operations and reports. In reports, there's a master production schedule. This is going to print out the entire MPS. Let's run that real quick. As of today, for all sites, this is a, this is a quick runner, especially, well, because there, there isn't much in there now. We're going to create some here in just a minute. Here's the report. So basically, we're saying there's just one component here. There's one A part in the 00C1A, and here's your production quantities that are due on these days. And again, you know, we're entering the, the due date into, uh, into the MPS. So MRP is going to create the purchasing suggestions and the job suggestions to try to meet that due date. So let's go ahead and go back into MRP here to general options. Here is where you do your master production schedule entry. It's under MPS entry. So that's something to note because if you type in master production, you won't find it on a search. It's MPS entry. And when the program loads, it's going to show you all your parts. Now for the handful of parts here on top, I already have some forecasts. And the one part that we just, the uh, 00C2A, uh, you know, that had a MPS already, but I'm going to select here and we can see that part, the 001 MP cons has no MPS. Now we could add this manually, but let's go ahead and go to the, uh, the overflow menu here, the ellipsis, and just say copy from forecast because I, I believe I have one here. And boom, that pops right in. So that's that takes the forecast just from today on because that's what we're creating and it loads the forecast as an MPS. Let's go ahead and do that for a few more parts. I'm selecting the part. We have no master production schedule. I'm selecting copy from forecast. And there we go. Let's do a few more. I need to select the part, load the part, then copy from forecast. And I believe the next one is going to have no forecast. And then we'll do some manual. All right, we're going to error here. Forecast does not exist. So there's no forecast for this part, but I want to add it to the master production schedule. We're simply going to add here. We'll do one for, say, July 8th. We're going to need 100 pieces then. We're going to do one for July 29th. We're going to want 500 pieces then. I'm going to save that. And then we're going to go back to our MPS. We finished up our 01 PP. Let's just do one or two more. I believe there's a forecast in here. Okay, yeah, and this already has a master production schedule. This is the one that was on a report. And we'll just do one more. Go back into master production schedule entry. Our part should load up. And we were, I believe, we had a master production schedule up a level. We don't here. I think we have a forecast. So let's go ahead and bring that in. So now we have a number of records here. Let's go ahead and Take a look at our at our MPS report here, and we're starting today for all sites, all parts. Let's run that, and that should give us our complete master production schedule here for all the parts that we just uh, both brought in from our forecast and we uh, created manually. So we have our due dates and our production quantities for each part. So that is the master production schedule and how it is put together. All right, have a great afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.